Welcome to the next video of the chapter Force and Laws of Motion. In this video, we are going to revise the chapter through assertion reason question. Assertion reason question of chapter 1 link is provided in the description box. And in that video, I had already explained that assertion reason questions are modified true or false questions. So those who have not watched that video can watch the video and then come back to part 2. So let's move on to the first question. Assertion, if the net external force on the body is zero, then its acceleration is zero. Reason, acceleration does not depend on force. We have learnt that whenever an unbalanced force is given on an object, it creates an acceleration on the object. And from second law of motion, we know that F is equal to MA and acceleration is F by M. That means acceleration is dependent on force. If you give more force, then the acceleration will be more. From this, we can understand that the recent statement given is false. So reason is false. An assertion, if the net external force on the body is zero, then acceleration is zero. It's true because we know that acceleration depends on the force. So, the correct answer for this question is option C. A is true but R is false. Question number 2. Assertion, a rocket works on the principle of conservation of linear momentum. Reason, for two body system where there is a change in momentum of one body, the same change occurs in the momentum of the second body but in the opposite direction. During the propulsion of a rocket, the hot burnt gases come out from the rear part of the rocket with high velocity and carry large momentum. So, an equal amount of momentum is imparted to the rocket in the upward direction also and the rocket goes upwards in the sky. So, it's a combination of Newton's third law and law of conservation of momentum. So, assertion is true. Now, the reason is also true because the change in the momentum is occurring in the same system but in the opposite direction and it gives a correct explanation for A also. So, the correct option here is option A. Question number 3. Assertion when a firefly hits a bus, each of them exerts the same force. Reason, firefly has more mass as compared to the windshield. We know that according to Newton's third law, when there is an action, there will be a reaction. So when the firefly is hitting a bus, each of them will exert a same force. The force exerted by firefly to the bus and the force exerted by the bus to the firefly will be same. But will the acceleration of these two objects be same? But for the same force, a heavier object will give more acceleration than a lighter object. And here we know that firefly has very very less mass as compared to the windshield. So this itself makes us understand that the reason is false and assertion is true. So the correct option or the correct answer for this question is option C. Assertion is true but reason is false. Question number 4. Assertion. Force required to accelerate a mass in two perpendicular direction is never same. Reason, the presence of g that is acceleration due to gravity will not influence the acceleration. Force required to accelerate a mass in two perpendicular direction is never seen. Here we have two balls, so both are having same mass. Now we are giving a force in the linear direction and the ball moves to a particular distance. But when you are giving the same force and the ball is coming down or when it is falling down, we should understand that there is always a force of gravity pulling that object downwards along with the force given by us. So, the net force is increased. So, that means the acceleration of the ball will be more when it is falling down than when it is moving in a linear way. So, definitely acceleration due to gravity will be having an influence in that fall. So, that means... The option here also is option C. A is true but R is false. Number 5. A quick collision between two bodies is more violent than a slow collision even when the initial and final velocities are identical and reason rate of change of momentum determines the force.
now we know that when objects are moving with high speed their momentum will be very high and hence the impact that they give on the colliding object will be also very high so a quick collision between bodies will be more violent than a slow collision also in the examples of second law of motion we have understood that a fielder moves his hand back or cushion beds are provided for athletes so that the time of the change in momentum can be increased and its impact can be reduced so rate of change of momentum do determine the force or the impact it creates on the colliding object hence here the correct option is option a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a question number 6 When astronauts throw something in space the object would continue moving in the same direction and with the same speed and reason the acceleration of an object produced by net applied force is directly related to the magnitude of force and inversely related to the mass of the object So when an astronaut throws something in space the astronaut is giving a force to that object So according to Newton's first law the object should move and yes it will continue to move in the same direction with the same speed until it gets hit or it gets a force from any other object so our assertion is true let's check the reason part in the reason we can understand that acceleration of an object is directly related to the magnitude of the force we have already discussed that if you give more force the object gets more acceleration Also if you compare the acceleration for the same force with a lighter and heavier object the lighter object gets more acceleration for the same force this means that reason is also true but does it give an explanation for the first statement no so the correct option is option b both a and r are true but r is not the explanation for a hope you could follow the six questions we discussed in the video note down these questions also also check the links for the content videos of class 9 physics in the description also check out the link for practicing more assertion reason question in the description thank you for watching the video if you liked the video do subscribe the channel and give your support in the form of likes and comments